about one week ago, I updated to the brand new update, Isle 9. Isle 9 brought us tons of new features, new escapes, and even some cool secrets. So I'm going to summarize the Isle 9 update. Isle 9 has brought in tons of new features for us to explore, but a lot to kill you. Facility too easy for you? Now you've got frog spawns that will try to kill you. The jungle too plain for you? Now even the plants want to kill you. But not everything is bad though. Isle has now become fishing simulator. You can catch a variety of things, including fish that you can eat. Whoa, wait a second. That still doesn't explain how your character can last five full days without water. Very accurate. Hate walking? Get your zipline today and travel to Rock A in 7.2 seconds guaranteed. The ship has new rooms, including sleeping quarters, cargo area for crates, and an elevator. The mines has a new area. Although, I don't know how to complete the puzzle. Artifact A and B switch locations, meaning you'll have to work harder to become a PvP god. The facility also became larger, forcing you to learn colours, then do a simple addition to open the doors. There are three new endings added to Isle 9. The first being the Hangar Escape, the hangar escape requires you to power the hangar and then get the jack. After you've done that, you'll need to switch on the fuel pump and then defend it from zombies until you, you can escape. The second escape is the balloon escape. You are required to get weights, a burner, and rope. You are also required to open the ceiling, which is at rock B, by using a line launcher. The third escape is the feathered. It requires talking to a mirror, opening up a cache, and opening up Ape City. You will talk to a dragon and then eventually be flown around the island, eventually escaping. Despise day three, Stan will jump you no matter what day it is, as long as it's night. If you have the stupidity and curiosity to go to the dark blue water, you'll be jumped by the Chilisric from Subnautica. Here is Isle's definition of a dragon. Enjoy. Using the Master Bypass Control has been made much easier. Every so often, the devs will decide to give you a helping hand and lock in the right number for one of the slots. If you wait long enough, they'll just do it for you. Every so often, B Corp will give the Alpha Team information. Every night, you'll see where the mercenaries have settled, and who they killed, and who they've spotted. Power in the radio tower will allow you to see the mercenaries' messages as well. The final fact. Inside the lair, you are able to use the Pack-a-Punch machine to decrease your weapon's weight and give it a power-up. You are also able to decrease its aim time, and even sometimes increase its damage. Now I have covered everything I know about Isle 9. There's probably more things that I forgot about, but yeah. Tell me if I did forget something important, but anyway. Oh, wait a second. I have forgotten one. Wait, the Isle devs removed anti-cheat.